Welcome. In this video for sales managers, we'll show how to manage activities in Sales Cloud. We'll identify activity features that move your sales process forward, learn how the activity timeline helps your reps sell better, and explore activity customizations to help boost your sales reps' productivity and efficiency. In Sales Cloud, activities include detailed information about events, tasks, emails, or logged calls. Your sales reps log, organize, and interact with these activities by using activity management features. For example, suppose one of your reps wants to track meetings and tasks together in lists and reports to stay on top of their leads, contacts, opportunities, accounts, and campaigns. Here's what they can do. On home pages, today's events show the next five meetings on a rep's calendar today. Today's tasks show their next five tasks due today. Meetings drop off today's events after they happen. In the Kanban view, a yellow triangle on an opportunity indicates that the deal has no scheduled meetings or tasks. To get the deal moving, a rep can select the triangle and create an activity. On activity reports, sales reps and managers run various reports to get insight into the progress and history of accounts and deals. If shared activities are enabled, reps and managers can run certain standard or custom reports that show details about events, tasks, calls and emails. The reports also show details about related contacts, accounts, opportunities and other associated records. Reps can also manage their activities on the activity timeline. Let's discover how. In the activity timeline, reps see their open tasks, scheduled meetings and past activity on an opportunity, lead, account or contact. The activity timeline is supported for accounts, cases, claims, contacts, contracts, insurance policies, leads, opportunities and activity-enabled custom objects. Let's imagine one of your reps is focusing on leads. The activity timeline will quickly show them all of the information they need to know. Here we see that the rep is working a lead for Kristin Huang. In the activity timeline, the rep sees that they've already called Kristin to introduce themselves. They already have a foot in the door. In the upcoming and overdue section, the rep sees scheduled events and tasks that they need to complete to keep the lead process moving. For example, the rep has a call to make, a marketing packet to send, and a request for proposal or RFP to complete. The rep just shared the RFP draft, so they check this task off to mark it as complete. It's that easy to stay on track. Now let's walk through how reps can create tasks on their activity timelines in Sales Cloud and mark them as complete. First, your rep creates a task. From the navigation bar, the rep clicks Accounts and then chooses the All Accounts List view. They click the account name. Then they click the New Task button. For the subject, the rep enters Review RFP. For the due date, the rep chooses a date. Finally, they click Save. Great! Now your rep won't forget about having to review that important RFP. Imagine that the rep has finished reviewing the RFP. Let's watch as they mark that task as complete. Once completed, they will check the box next to the task, which will dynamically strike a line through the task indicating that it's completed and will now live on the activity timeline as complete. By using the activity timeline in Sales Cloud, reps keep things moving forward and managers capture data that is critical to getting deals done. The activity timeline is pretty awesome, but it's not the only feature that optimizes your rep's activity management. Up next, you'll discover how to customize activities so that you and your reps get the most out of Sales Cloud. There are several ways you can customize activities for your reps. To get started, we'll click into the gear icon and select Setup. In the upper left-hand corner, you will find the Quick Find box where you can type activity settings and click into it. This will bring you to all available activity settings. Enable roll-up of activities to a contact's primary account. By enabling this, when an activity is associated with a contact, 
the activity is also displayed on the contact's primary account. The account and activity roll-up depends on the related to field, the name field, the shared activities setting, and whether the setting is enabled for roll-up activities to a contact's primary account. Next, enable activity reminders. Let users set individual preferences for displaying event and task reminders. Go back to the records page. You can also customize buttons on the tabbed activity composer. If your page layouts have been customized and you don't see the log a call, new event, new task, or send an email buttons on the tabbed activity composer, you can add them to the Salesforce mobile and lightning experience actions section of page layouts. To do this, go to the object manager, select page layouts, select the page layout you wish to edit. In the top section, click into your mobile and lightning actions. From here, you can make sure you have the log a call, new event, new task, or send an email buttons displayed. If missing, simply drag and drop, of course, saving any changes. One final way to customize activities for your reps is to control access to activities. By disabling the access activities permission, guest users such as experienced builder sites, for example, won't have access to any tasks, events, and emails. This way, your reps and agents can be sure that their work remains private. To do this, we go back to Setup. Click on Permission Sets under Users. Click the permission you wish to edit. We will then scroll down to System Permissions and click Edit. From here, we'll be able to uncheck the Access Activities checkbox and save the changes. Ready to take a closer look at customization? Up next, we'll walk through the steps for enabling shared activities. Let's enable shared activities. First, click the gear icon, then click Setup. The Setup page will open in a new tab. In the Quick Find box, enter Activity. Click Activity Settings. Check Allow Users to Relate Multiple Contacts to Tasks and Events. Click Submit. Close the Setup tab. Now let's create one more task and relate it to two people. From the navigation bar, click Accounts, then click the account name. From the Opportunities Related list, click on an opportunity. From the Opportunity Record page, we can click New Task. For Subject, enter Send Updated Quote. Select the due date. For name, find and choose a contact. For name, find and choose another contact. Click Save. That's all it takes to add multiple contacts to an activity. The task will appear on the contact records for both individuals you selected. Remember, tracking and managing activities in Sales Cloud isn't busy work. It's a way to help everyone work faster and smarter. It drives productivity and efficiency. Reps and managers alike easily find the information they're looking for and quickly get up to speed. It improves decision-making. Management uses hard data to draw objective conclusions and make business-savvy decisions. And finally, activity management fosters trust and accountability. Teams get instant visibility into leads and accounts, which helps them see who's doing what and when. To recap, we explored activity features that keep the sales process moving forward, saw how the activity timeline empowers sales reps and covered customizations to make work easier for your reps. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.